Good day friends, Jason here from Ridgeline Overlanding. Thanks for joining us for today's video. Today we are going to talk a little bit about traction boards, a uh, little install tips and I'll show you how I got my ARB Tread HD traction boards installed on my Vantec P3000 ladder rack. So let's dig into it and have a look, see what you think. So if you've watched any of my videos and product reviews, you will know that I'm a big fan of the Vantec P3000 ladder rack. Uh, that is the system I have here on my 2021 Honda Ridgeline. So what I had been doing to mount my traction boards was using these carriage bolts, simply sliding them into the T-slot. And then I just simply put the boards on top of here for these carriage bolts, wing nuts, washers, and away we go. Um, but today I went shopping and I bought some uh, ARB Tread HDs. Got four of them. They did not come in black, unfortunately. And uh, this was the style I wanted because they're really low profile and I'm going to be stacking four of them high. So not only were they on sale, yay, but the mounting hardware also was and the extension pins. So what I'm going to be doing here is mounting these onto my Vantech rack. So I've got these T-slot nuts that I had bought in about a year ago, knowing that they would come very much in handy. And simply going to be, you know, having the spread already done, feeding these guys in here one at a time. Easier to do when you're not trying to video the process. All right, so I pulled the old switcheroo, decided to mount it on the right side for a couple of reasons. One, it's going to provide a little bit of protection from the, from the elements over my high lift jack. And two, when I go to lock it all down, I can lock these things all together, decreasing the number of locks that I need. So you can see these, uh, these stack pretty well together. They're nice and low pro. The fitment isn't perfect, but um, the bar spread is also being determined by the holes in the high lift jack. So the nifty thing about this mounting setup using uh, the provided pins is that they basically lock on and off. So if you can see here, there's a little lock on and off, uh, lock and unlock. Just twist it, press on this, and pull up. Up she goes. You do that four times, and off come your traction boards. Putting them back on. Press again, turn it to lock, which is harder to do with one hand, and away you go. Presto. So before we bring this train back on into the station, let's talk about a little bit of customization. Uh, if you look back at the still shot of the mounting uh, brackets themselves, you can see there's a number of holes and slots. This allows you to mount it in a number of different ways, whether it's screwing it into to whatever gear setup you have or simply zap strapping it down. Um, I've done it a few different ways since then and these things are extremely versatile. They can be mounted left, right, sideways, um, probably even upside down. So get some, figure out what works best for you and then have some fun with it. Well, guys and gals, that about does it for today. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you like what you saw, maybe learned a few things. And uh, yeah, why don't you grab yourself some traction boards because they are the most basic level of recovery gear, especially self-recovery. Um, on another day, I'll tell you just how much recovery I've had to do with them. And yeah, until then, be sure to tell your friends, like, subscribe, all that stuff. The channel is growing, and it's only growing because of viewers like you. So I just appreciate it, especially those guys. Those of you guys who hang in there till the end and actually watch an entire video. Um, yeah, thanks for making this what it is. I, I keep putting these videos out there simply because people keep watching them. And if I can give back to the community that is this brought me this far and allowed me to get out and have a lot of fun, then that's the least I can do. So you know what they say. Until next time. And there will be a next time. Go play outside.